Well, that was fun. Welcome back to this last installment of the Patents Project YouTube presentation on addressing the barriers of a digital curriculum and e-learning. This series of presentations has focused on addressing the accessibility issues that local educational agencies need to consider when purchasing an online or digital curriculum or when a school district sets a course for developing their own digital curriculum. We invite you to join us in an open forum discussion on the issues during the month of February. This forum discussion will occur in the Accessible Instructional Materials community on the Indiana Learning Connection website and will be moderated by Daniel McNulty, the Patton's Northeast Regional Site Coordinator. So come on and join us in this important discussion and share what your school district is doing to address the breaking down of barriers of a digital curriculum and e-learning. Also, if you haven't already done so, go to the Patton's YouTube channel, TeacherTube or TeachIndy.com to view the first two informative presentations in this series. This week, we will bring you three YouTube presentations with Jeff Bond, the Patton Central Regional Site Coordinator, on some possible solutions to consider for making your traditional or your digital curriculum accessible for students with disabilities. The first in this series will focus on the use of text-to-speech program called Read Out Loud Universal Access. The second presentation will be about a program that converts digital text to DAISY and a program called DAISY to EPUB for creating files that can be utilized on mobile devices. And lastly, Jeff will talk about the RFB and D Read Here software that will allow digital files to be accessible for the blind and visually impaired. By the way, all three of these solution programs are free to Indiana local school districts for use by struggling readers and students with print disabilities. These programs are available as a free download by your school district's appointed digital rights manager on the Indiana Center for Accessible Instructional Materials, or the ICAM website. That site is www.icam.k12.in.us. These are just a few of the many solutions available for addressing the issues. For more information on these and other solutions, please contact your Patents Regional Site Coordinator. You can find the contact information for these great support resources as well as information on other patents offered technical assistance and training opportunities on the Patents Project website at www.patentsproject.com. So now let's join Jeff and learn more about these programs that may provide just the solution your district will want to consider implementing to ensure its traditional or its digital curriculum is accessible for all students including students with disabilities. Hello, I'm Jeff Bond, and I am the Patton Central Regional Site Coordinator. I'd like to share with you a few of the ways that barriers to digital content can be addressed. Many individuals with a disability have barriers that create a challenge to access what others take for granted, and the increase in digital content is no different. As digital content becomes more popular, access remains a challenge for many. This is just a warm-up to what kind of technology is available. What I am about to share is by no means the only thing available, but merely a few tools in a vast toolbox we call assistive technology. Come let me share one with you. I'd like to show you one way to convert DAISY files to EPUB file formats so that they can be used on e-devices like the e-book readers um, such as the iPad. And there's a program by Don Johnston called Daisy to EPUB. And we'll open that now. And it's a very simple Daisy converter. And what we would do is take an OPF file which is part of a, a NIMAS file or a DAISY book file and convert it to an EPUB. So we'll go to our file. In an instance, since we have our OPF here, we'll click on that and say OK. That's our source file. 
and then we select our default file and I'm going to use my default desktop for the Mac as my location to save the file and from there we hit convert and the file will then go through the converting process once the file is done we get our status report that it was complete and it gives us the location as to where the file is found we click on folder will tell us specifically that the folder is indeed on my desktop and that we can see it right here. So that's the way we can convert it, a DAISY file format into an EPUB. I mentioned earlier that we can now take our EPUB and upload it to our iPad, but there are other devices that utilize the EPUB file format as well. Um, some being the Sony Reader, the Nook, or apps or applications that can be used on an Android tablet or other Apple devices like the iPhone and the iTouch. So we'll close our Daisy to EPUB converter. And we'll open up iTunes. And I have my iPad synchronized to my iTunes folder. And we're going to bring the book that I just converted to an EPUB over to the iPad. To do this, we're going to click on the book icon under our library. And you can do the transfer one of two ways. You can either go up to File, select Add to Library, or in this, this instance, I'm going to just go ahead and click on the book, drag it to my book section of my library and we have it located right here. We'll go back to my iPad device and across the top we have a variety of selections, one of them being books. We click on books and we'll see the, the other books in the library that I have available. I can either synchronize all books or I can synchronize select books. And in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and just select the book that we converted earlier to the EPUB. Once selected, I'll apply that and we'll go through the synchronizing process and depending on the size of the book it may take a short period of time or for a very long or large book it could take a significant amount of time. Okay, it says that we've been synchronized and that we can disconnect and look at our iPad. So here we have our iPad, and we'll page to iBooks, and here's our book on the shelf. We'll double click, we'll open our book, go to the next page, and this is the book that we did the DAISY conversion, DAISY to EPUB, and then uploaded to iTunes. iTunes we sank to our iPad, and Here's our book.